given up its survivors. For more than 24 hours, the ship's passengers fought wind, cold, flames and panic. This morning at dawn, the Navy winched away the bedraggled. Survivors took refuge on nearby ships. Many families got separated during the rescue. The first big group of rescued passengers landed this morning in the city of Bari. Finally, wearily, they were on firm ground. Among the survivors are British horse trainer Nick Channing Williams and his fiancée, Regina Teofili. They lost each other during the rescue. This is how bad it got. His face is covered in smoke and soot. This afternoon, we found Nick Channing Williams at the Red Cross, wearing new clothes donated by the military. His hands are still sooty. There was general panic as to whether we should go up, down or, you know, basically it was brought to our attention that we wouldn't need a lifeboat and then all of a sudden we did and by that time we were up and there was a queue all the way down the stairs and then people in mass panic. Did you fear for your life at any stage? At that moment, yes. <laughs> there were lifeboats dropping into the sea, people throwing themselves into them and yeah, it was, it was quite, quite a panic situation. Italy will begin to search the ship for evidence. How did a fire break out on the car deck? And why did it spread to kill several of its passengers? My thoughts and prayers go out to the families of the victims, but the work of the rescue services prevented what could have been a great catastrophe. Their dedication and tenacity stopped this from becoming something much worse. The airlift is now over. The captain was the last to leave. His stricken ship, the Norman Atlantic, remains in the cold waters of the Adriatic.